right, let's start week five, everybody. Oh, and let's start it right off with an event on Monday. You know what? I think this is going to be a good week. For a change, I'm actually getting out the door without running into something crazy delaying me. The last few weeks have been ridiculous. Everyone else has already gone to class, so I lock the door behind me as I head out. Or at least, I thought the others had gone off to class. It looks like Sally's coming back. She looks really nervous about something. Her eyes are darting all over, and she's walking with a bit of a hunch. I hope she didn't hurt herself. I walk out the gate and give her a wave as I turn toward my class. Oh! Anne! Um... Hey! I, uh... Forgot a book! Okay, yeah. She's really terrible at hiding things. Yeah, but she has a beautiful coat. Sally runs past me and heads to the door without looking me in the eye. Hmm. I can tell she's struggling to keep her jacket closed and get into her pockets at the same time. What are you smuggling in there, Sally? I suppose I could go over and help, but that just means getting tied up into whatever crazy scheme she's got going on today. I just don't know if it's worth it. I'm curious, though. What's she up to? <sighs> I'm getting entirely too caught up with these people. <laughs> I head back towards the door, reaching into my pockets to fish out my keys. Oh, I like what you're wearing, too. Here, let me get that for you, Sally. Ah! Oh, Anne! Sorry, I thought you'd gone ahead. Yeah, could you please grab the door for me? Sally struggles with her jacket for a few moments, looking around shiftily. Everyone else is gone, right? It's Dominic's TA day, right? I think so. Why? What's... Oh. Before I can finish my sentence, I hear it. A small whimper, like a small dog whining. Is that what I think it is? Oh, it's adorable! <sighs> Sally opens her jacket, revealing a tiny puppy. Oh my god, he's so cute! He is pretty adorable, isn't he? Yes, he is! Where'd you find him? He was just wandering the street down by the main avenue. What? Did you ask around about him? Of course! I don't just go around stealing dogs. Oh my goodness, Sally, calm down. I didn't say that. Anyway, he was about to go wandering into traffic, so I scooped him up. I looked all over, but nobody claimed him. I don't see any tags or anything. Who would abandon a cute little guy like this? I don't know. It happens a lot around college towns like this, though. People get a pet and then have to move away for some reason, and they just abandon their poor animals. Sally looks like she's about to cry just thinking about it. Well, for now, let's get him set up inside. Come on. Yeah, I took off my coat. I unlock the door, step through, and take off my winter coat. You do know this is totally against the rules, though, right? Dominic will freak if he finds out. Well, I'm not telling if you're not. Well, I'm not going to leave a poor puppy out on the streets. You can count on me. Here, stay here and cover him up. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Thank you, Anne. I really appreciate your help. So does little Vegemite. Vegemite? Vegemite? <laughs> Uh-oh. Suddenly, I hear rustling from the kitchen. I try to sneak a bit closer. That's when I see Dominic's hand pushing the door open. Oh, crap. <laughs> Crap! I've only got a moment to figure out what to do before he comes out here. Count to 35 before coming back in. I slam the door on Sally, shoving her back outside. Now what to do? It's cold out there. Um, Asking him for help on a problem will probably keep him in this room, but if I stumble into him, maybe I can tackle him through the doorway. Tackle him in! Oh! Tackling works! Yay! That's good. I guess it's pretty easy to just fake an accident. That should distract him. While he's coming out of the kitchen, I rush over toward the door. Oh no, I forgot my lunch! Oh. Ah! I collide with him pretty hard. Guess I overdid it. <clears throat> oh jeez. Anne, are you okay? I think so. Oh! My shoulder kind of hurts. Really? Let me see. Um... Yeah, a bit. I, um... Don't think it's anything too bad. We have to be sure. 
places a hand on my shoulder and then pulls my arm out and starts rotating it. His hands are firm, but gentle as he feels the muscle. He actually looks really concerned. Aww. Um, what about you? Are you okay? I'm fine. Does this hurt? As he's tending to me, the handle on the door turns slowly and I see Sally start sneaking in. Hmm, it seems to be fine, but we should probably go to the first aid kit. No! No need to go over. Oh, hey, Sally. Did you forget something, too? Um, yeah, I forgot a book. Sorry. Is something wrong with your jacket? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh, I think I found the sore spot. Dominic returns his attention to me, searching for the spot I'm indicating. I think I'm fine. Can you just, um, rub the spot for a few moments? Um, of course, Anne. I think we're both blushing, but it gives Sally the chance she needs. She smirks and winks at me as she heads up the stairs, mouthing, Nice, before she leaves my view. Oh boy. I'll have to ask her what that was about when I check on her later. In the meantime, I have to admit, Dominic actually does a good job of massaging my shoulder. Hmm. Th thanks, Dominic. I should get going to class. Uh, yeah. I'm glad you're feeling okay, Anne. Thanks, I'm glad you're fine too, Dominic. Hmm, interesting. Oh my goodness, another event. Oh, one of my professors just emailed me. He wants to see me after class. Maybe he has an extra credit assignment. Oh, but I was supposed to meet one of my classmates to study in the library. Maybe I should go there first? But then I might miss Professor Task's meeting. Um, I guess we can do that. I guess since I'm supposed to be studying for his class, I should probably go see what he wants. Probably a good idea. During class, I let my partner know I have to see the professor. Luckily, he sent her the same email. Afterwards, we head to his office. Well, that was lucky. Professor, you wanted to see me? Oh, hello. Your hair is fabulous, sir. Ah, uh, Anne, exactly on time. As expected of you. He gives me a smile of appreciation that lights up his face. He has a very wise demeanor. And voice, I think. <laughs> he really is the epitome of a college professor. So dignified and handsome. Oh my. Thank you, Professor Task. Well, anyway, to the matter at hand. You both know I've been helping out the sociology department lately, right? Well, one of the other professors is running an experiment. She wanted me to give a few of my students a little questionnaire. You don't have to, but I'll give you a bit of extra credit for your trouble. Oh, hello. Who are you, cutie? You're adorable. Carmen. Hmm. I'll fill it out, Professor. <laughs> I'll never catch up to Anne if I don't get a little extra. Oh, you're doing fine, Carmen. But yes, I'll fill one out, Professor. The Professor looks pleased with both of us, handing us our papers. There are a few questions on the paper, mostly about my college life. I fill in most of it pretty easily. The last question gives me pause, though. Your fellow student has obtained the answers for the next test. They plan on using them, as do several others. They offer you the chance to use them as well. There is no chance for you to be caught using the answers. Do you use them on the test? Hmm. Well, that's an interesting question. Well, it depends. What, ta what, um, what class is it? And is it an important test or a non-important test? You can't, there's no way for you to be caught. Hmm. Well, we're playing as Anne. I feel like Anne wouldn't cheat on a test no matter what. She'd rather pass a test on her own merits. So I'll say no as Anne. I mark down no and proudly hand my paper in. Thank you, Anne. He looks over my paper with a bemused grin on his face. He probably doesn't believe me. I appreciate your time. Now I don't want to hold you two back from your studies any longer. I'm looking forward to your project this term. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Task. Thanks for this opportunity. Of course, dear. Now run along, you two. 
I gather Carmen up and we head off to the library. You're so lucky, Anne. He likes you. <laughs> no, he just appreciates good grades. You're doing fine, Carmen. <laughs> we continue talking about him as we go on our way. Troublemaker. Well, that was interesting. Study too much. Oh, another event. This makes no sense. Gah! I really don't know why I took this class. Trying to broaden my horizons. Please. Come on, Anne, you can get this. Oh, everything all right in here? You sounded like you were frustrated in here, Anne. For a second, I thought it was Max's room. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was being that loud. This is just a complicated problem. I'll figure it out. Oh, did you need a hand? <laughs> Hi, Max. What are you calling me over for, douchebag? What? Nobody called you, jackass. Well, then, what are you saying my name for? Hey, Anne. <laughs> oh, hey, Max. I was just talking to Dominic about my homework. Sounds boring. What are you working on? Oh, don't worry about it, you guys. I'll figure it out. The boys look like they doubt me. I guess they might be helpful. But I won't learn anything if I don't puzzle through this stuff. Yeah, sure, we'll play it. Dominic's here. Well, all right, it might help to talk through this. All right, let's work on it a bit. Dominic and Max come over towards my desk to look over my shoulder at the problem. You guys aren't going to fight again, are you? Um, Max, we're trying to study here. Yes, we are, so shut up so some of us can concentrate. You wouldn't know how to concentrate if I pelted you with every can of frozen juice in the store. <laughs> what? It's <laughs> too funny. See, this is what smarts get you. Terrible puns. And, you know, douchebags. Shut up. Oh, come on, it was awesome. That was an awesome pun. I hide my smile behind a hand. <clears throat> um... Well, despite the terrible puns, we'll get Dominic to help us. Well, Dominic, I think the problem breaks down into these parts, see? I show Dominic my work so far, and he examines it with a thoughtful look. Max looks over his shoulder, but gets bored of it rather quickly. Alright, I think that's about it for me. Good luck, Anne. Try not to catch anything. <laughs> Okay, Anne, I think this is where it breaks down. See in this part. Oh, I think I see. Together, Dominic and I go through the steps of the problem, and he shows me how to work them out. It's nice to work through this with someone who gets it on the same level, or better, than I do. Plus, Dominic is a really good teacher. Yeah, I get it now. I feel bad. I should have seen that ages ago. Hey, don't worry about it. Sometimes you just need a different perspective. It's nice to study with someone who takes it seriously. <laughs> I'm sure. I wish the others were as good with their studies as you. Still, I'm happy we got to study together. Dominic smiles warmly at me. On an impulse, I give him a quick hug. Ah, I appreciate the help, Dominic, really. He blushes for a second, which is kind of a nice reversal. Hmm. Well, no problem. You should have the rest of that down easy. I'll see you later, Anne. Take care. I love you. <laughs> I get back to my homework with a much happier demeanor. Ahem. Oh my goodness. Ah, why isn't my alarm on? I could have sworn I set it on time. Damn it. I fly through my room, picking out a quick outfit to wear today. I look at the clock. If no one's in the way, I might be able to grab a shower. Oh, hello. If there's one downside to having five roommates and only one actual bathroom... It's early morning traffic. Man, that sucks. With everyone's class schedules, people always seem to be coming or going in the morning. Which can mean a lot of trouble when you're used to having some privacy in the shower. Dominic laid down the law pretty early. He gathered all of us in the room, too. But he mostly talked to Isabella and Max. It's a little harrowing, but people have been pretty good about it. I've actually managed to keep to myself so far. And that's why I'm so mad I overslept this morning. It just ruins everyone's schedule. 
If someone is in there, it could cause me to be late. It's almost not worth the hassle. I washed my hair last night, so I should be able to take a quick shower. I mean, I just feel so gross when I don't take one. I haven't been rushed like this since grade school. Alright, let's see what shenanigans we get up to this time. No, I'm not going to go through today stinking and greasy. I've got time. Hopefully the showers are empty. I grab up my towel and things and run down the hall for the bathroom. Oh, hello. As I head toward the bathroom, I can see Isabella leaving, her own bathroom bundle in hand. Have a good day, Isabella. Isabella just winks at me and holds a finger up to her lips as she goes past. Why? Only as she passes me do I notice that the bundle she's carrying is clothes, but she's already dressed. Oh no, who are you pranking? Wait. Shh, go on, take your shower. Just as I'm about to question what's going on, the door to the bathroom opens up and I just see the top of a blonde head sticking out. Oh no. Oh, hello! Alright, you assholes, very funny! <laughs> Isabella runs off downstairs like a child who just stole the last cookie. I'm going to kill one of you. I'm not even sure which one. Maybe I'll just kill someone at random. The first one to bring back my clothes doesn't get murdered! That's fair, right? Unfortunately, since I'm still standing in the hall, I'm the first one Dominic locks his murderous glare on. No! Um... Are... Are you okay? Dominic blanches at the sight of me and pulls his head back into the bathroom. I guess he wasn't going to murder us. Did you see someone running by, Anne? And by someone, I mean Max. No, but Isabel- Oh. Yeah, look, I'll kill her later. Can you just grab me a towel, please? They're in the closet over there. Um, okay, sure. Do you- Um, do you want me to hand it to you in there? <sighs> Dominic doesn't say anything for a bit. Just hand it to me from over there, it's fine. I head over to the linen closet and grab a fresh towel. I walk close to the bathroom door where Dominic's got a hand waving around. Any time now is fine. <laughs> oh, we got relationship change, a positive relationship change with Dominic. As I walk towards his outstretched hand, I start wondering why Isabella gets to have all the fun around here. Maybe it's time I started seeing what all the fuss about these boys was for myself. I carefully dodge around Dominic's hand, moving to outside the door. I take a deep breath and then lean into the bathroom with the towel stretched out in front of myself. There you go! Dominic is plastered to the door frame, trying to reach around to grab the towel that's now in front of his face. I try not to be too obvious as my eyes skirt down to his very naked behind. I thought I could manage something like this, but I start blushing and turn my head almost immediately. <laughs> <coughs> Dominic chokes a bit and rips the towel from my hand. You, um, you didn't have to bring it in here. I, I could have grabbed it. Oh, it's okay. I'm, um, I'm a helper. I look back at Dominic, who's at least got a towel on now. He's grinning at me. Almost smugly. <laughs> Feel free to help yourself whenever you like. Oh, hush! <clears throat> I stalk off back down the hallway to my room before he can see me plushing again. From the staircase, I can see Isabella giving me a thumbs up. I stick my tongue out at her and slam my door shut. Yeah. He does have a nice butt, though. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't even get a picture of that. I feel gypped. My goodness. I wonder who that girl is. Oh, my goodness. Another another event. Almost if another exam. <sighs> another event. Finals are coming up pretty soon, and if I don't get to the library, I'm never going to get my research done properly. As I double-check my reading list to make sure I know what I'm picking up, I can hear the others speaking in the hallway. Oh my goodness. Hey, I've got things to do tonight, Dominic. None of them are babysitting. He seemed in a very, very bad condition. His fever is incredibly high. I can't believe we're all going out. I just want to make sure someone is here to keep an eye on him. 
It's just a cold, Dominic. At worst, it's a little flu. I'm sure he'll be fine with some bed rest. Probably the best thing we can do is leave him alone to sleep. Exactly. I mean, I feel for him and all, but I've actually got ahead of the computer lab or I'm not going to be able to finish my project. I know, I know, we all have things to do. If he gets really bad, though, he might need help, and I don't want him get going ass up on my watch. <laughs> it would be nice of us to keep an eye on him. I hadn't seen Max for a bit. I didn't know he was that sick. Still, I really do need to go to the library. I guess I might be able to look up the information in those books online. It wouldn't be as good as the real thing, though. My report might suffer for it. Then again, I don't know if I really want to be responsible for Max all by myself. I'm not exactly good around sick people. The others might think I'm already at the library. I could always just sneak out and actually go there. Oh, if he's sick, though. Maybe we can get some points with Dominic for staying with him. No, I can't just let him stay home all by, my, by himself. That just wouldn't be right. I might be able to do it. Oh, Anne. I thought you'd gone to the library. There, Anne wants to do it. Can we go now? Do you not have a major paper to research at the library, Anne? Um, well, yeah. But I can probably find the information online. I mean, Wikipedia's not that bad, right? Huh. <laughs> That's not a great option for you, though, Anne. Definitely. I don't want anyone to sacrifice their good grade for this. I just want to make sure someone is around to keep an eye on him. I suppose my plans could be put off. I can stay and keep an eye on him instead. What were you planning to do? Simply observe the stars for painting. Oh. Well. Hmm. I'm gonna save. What happens if I volunteer? I guess this points with Max. All right, and what if I let Rakesh do it? I just want to know. Because this points with Rakesh. Okay, sure, why not? If you're sure, Rakesh. Definitely. The stars will be there tomorrow. They have waited this long for me to paint them. Another night cannot hurt them. Being the subject of one of your paintings, on the other hand... Don't be negative, Isabella. Okay, Rakesh. You know where the first aid kit is. Call the hospital if he gets too bad. I will make sure he is fine. Thank you very much, Rakesh. I definitely owe you. I'll try to make it up to you sometime. It is no problem. <laughs> Thanks, Rakesh. You're swell. The rest of us disperse to go about our individual business. The library is quiet at this point in the day. Though, I guess it's quiet at every part of the day. Still, I just mean there aren't many people around. I manage to find the books I need without interference. Several hours of pretty copious note-taking later, I'm really glad I came to find these books. Armed with enough notes to really make this paper shine, I head back home. Alright. Well, that happened. Anyway, got lots of points with Dominic that week. That was good. Woohoo!